install on a 2017 6.7 power stroke in this uh, Ford F-250. This uh, module is going to be very similar to the install as you'd see on the 11s through 16s. Uh, but with this module you can expect to see upwards of uh, you know, 3 miles a gallon in fuel savings and up to 90 horsepower. Uh, this is one of our more simple modules to install for the truck edition line. So we'll go through and show your key connection points uh, with this install and uh, get you guys going on your so the primary location is on the end of the fuel rail, which is the fuel rail sensor. As you can see, it's right down there. might be a little hard because it is kind of secluded. Uh, that is a three-pin connector. Uh, when removing that, it will latch. There will be a latch on the ramp side of that sensor. Uh, going back with our harness, make sure that the ramp on our module is on the same side as the factory connector. It is possible to get this put in 180 degrees the other way. Uh, so we'll go ahead and release the factory 3-pin female from the sensor and install ours. And the orientation of ours is going to be like this. So we'll go ahead and put it into the end of the sensor. You heard that click, make sure it's good and secure. Now we'll now take the factory female connector and plug it into the male portion of our harness. It is also possible to get this reversed, so make sure that it is on the correct side as well. As we heard that snap and click as well, so that is pretty well uh, what sums up the install of this module. This is our 22300 uh, module. What we're going to go do, ahead and do is make sure to keep us away from any high heat or moving parts and components. Uh, what we've done in the past to take this module, we generally mount it up here next to uh, your uh, radiator overfill tank. But if you want to mount it on another location, let's say the battery uh, box support bar here would also work. Just keep it out of the way. If, as I said, any moving parts or high heat components. Um, go ahead and zip tie this. I'm going to touch base to on the switch. The switch is rotary, so all the way counterclockwise to stock. 30, 60, and 90 horsepower setting. So you're going to see your best results on the 90 horsepower setting. Uh, so that completes this install. I want to thank you guys for joining us today. If you uh, need any other information, you can check out our website, agdieselsolutions.com as well as our social media websites, Facebook and Instagram, and also YouTube where you can find further videos such as this one. I want to thank you guys for joining us today, and always remember to perform smart, perform efficient, perform with Ag Diesel Solutions Truck Edition models. Thank you guys. Have a great day.